All right, guys, what is going on? It is Friday, so I hope you guys had a good week, and I hope you have a good weekend. Um, of course, yesterday was the big uh, two-year mark of summer being missing, and um, according to a lot of people, uh, they just feel like that police are still at day one in the investigation. Um, this time last year, uh, they said they weren't much further along than day one in the investigation. So, uh, what I, you know, I, I got to looking and listening to a bunch of news articles, um, and I found one that I just kind of wanted to do a reaction video on and go over some stuff with you. Um, and it looks like it looks like the vigil's done really good. I mean, <clears throat> everybody got to uh, honor summer and uh, do all that stuff. And uh, yeah, yesterday was yesterday was a great day uh, for uh, honoring summer and, and all that stuff. So uh, kudos to everybody out there that, that done their vigils and and uh, represented summer uh, in, a, in a real good manner. So kudos to all y'all. Um, so let's, uh, let's kind of dive into this, uh, WJHL interview with, with Don Wells. He done a, I guess, an interview with them and, um, I'll, uh, I'll give my thoughts and opinions on it. So let's, let's dive into it here, guys. Yeah, Josh and Sarah, here we are two years later, still trying to find out what happened to Summer. And tonight, her father is seeking some answers of his own. I'm just having to put my faith completely into, in God and know that he has a better plan. And, uh, and that's pretty much where I'm at. My wife is still struggling. A lot has changed oh, for the... I'd say his wife is still struggling. I mean, Summer went missing on Candace's watch. So... Uh, but Don says he's put his faith into God, and we all know about Don's uh, religious talks and spouts and stuff like that. So to me, um, he's, I don't know, guys, to me, with all the the, uh, the lies and the BS that's come from this man in the past, uh, it, it's, I mean, to me, it's border, borderline Lori Vallow stuff to me. But hey, once the investigation's done and complete, we'll find out if it's ever done. Wells family over the last two years since their daughter Summer went missing from their Beach Creek home in Hawkins County. Social media have, have come out, you know, and protested at my job, um, everywhere we go, and uh, so it's hard for us to get any work or anything in Eastern Tennessee. No, it's not hard for you to get any work in Eastern Tennessee. Um, what happened? Um, back then, apparently, was like a um, a one-off thing, I guess, with, with you know that that group of people. So, well, you got one that did, you know, go to uh, Arkansas and uh, knock on their hotel door and ask where Summer is. Uh, but uh, maybe, you know, maybe you should have asked. You know, hey, I'd like to. Uh, would you, would you be willing to answer some questions? I'd like to do an interview instead of, uh, where's Summer? You know, but, but man, I tell you what, uh, that face on Candace, I mean, that, that was priceless right there. I mean, she come to the door and she was just, I mean, you could just tell she's shit faced. And, uh, huh? And she's like, bam, shut that, slam that door. Wow. Uh, these, uh, Don and Candace, uh, the the way they've represented themselves throughout this whole entire investigation, um, I can't feel sorry for them. You know, um, 
if you just look and uh, say compare Don and Candace to some other families uh, that have been on YouTube missing a loved one, you know, uh, it just, Don and Candace, in my opinion, if we grade them, they get an F. Definitely get an F for uh, how they how they've acted during this entire investigation. Um, and I mean, you can't blame people for being suspicious because they're acting this way. You know what I mean? You've got a well, you've got your little girl missing, and it's more important to you to play pranks on people and get drunk every night and, you know, slap each other around, uh, allegedly, than to get serious and try to find out what happened to your daughter. But of course, you know, people keep commenting to me saying, you know, Don, why, why would they, I mean, if, if they're guilty of having something to do with Summer's disappearance, why would they care? And I'm like, well, I mean, you've got a good point, you know. Um, I've heard everything from, I mean, we've, you know, we've heard the theories, you know, everything from they've sold her, they killed her, um, they just, if they didn't sell her, they just put her with another family. That's, you know, that's one of my theories. Um, after, uh, what was it? After uh, allegedly hearing that little girl that spent the night over there said that they, she's seen them, you know, packing suitcases for summer, uh, makes, you, makes you wonder. And we never, we never really did any, we never did get any, validity in that either so uh, just take that with a grain of salt don't know uh, but apparently you know Don and Candace did say that they used to babysit uh, Marlena's little girl for her while she went out and uh, partied or whatever so with the statement coming out that or the you know allegations coming out that you know her little girl uh, seeing that they were back uh, packing suitcases for summer and summer disappeared then yeah so um might be something to it so let's go and listen to more of this will says he and his wife candace have been in arkansas on and off for the last few months where he's been working in construction he also says they've been working with the department of children's services there to get their three older sons back They've been in Tennessee DCS custody. Whoa, they're working with Arkansas DCS to get their kids back? You guys are gonna have to help me out on this one. I am, uh, you guys are gonna have to help me out. If anybody knows, I, I, I call BS on that, I, I do. I, I just, I call BS on that. Uh, that's just some more, uh, that's just some more crap coming out of Don Wells' mouth. That's what I think. I doubt they're working with DCS in Arkansas. I think he's trying to make himself look good. Uh, it's a PR stunt that he's doing. I, that's what he's probably doing. He's probably just doing uh, a PR stunt trying to make himself look good on the news so that, uh, so that they do look good. You know what I mean? I, I doubt they're working with DCS in Arkansas. I mean, they won't even let the boy. They won't even let them talk to their boy. They probably already lost custody, guys. They probably already. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Don. Every time he opens his mouth, he's either talking about religious crap. Um, you know, not that I'm not religious, but I mean, Don makes it. You know. I mean, for for someone to be representing religion, that that's. I wish he'd quit. We know it's a facade. In my opinion, the, his whole religious kick here since Summer went missing is just a big facade. You know what I mean? Um, that's my opinion. But uh, 
Yeah, DCS in Arkansas, I think not. Since the month after Summer was reported missing. I think they're scared to, of our of our house because of what happened. And, uh, it's one of the problems, one of the issues, you know, so. Oh, I'll tell you what the boys are scared of. They're probably scared of how they were raised, how y'all were treating them. Um, allegedly, you know, last time I heard CPS was called, you know, over the, you know, the, the BB gun incident, which I don't even know if it's true or not, but I did hear that uh, part of that um, investigation had to do with y'all smacking the kids around. So, and we do know and we've seen and witnessed on YouTube uh, when they get drunk, um, you know, alleg allegedly a little bit of DV going on there. So, yeah, allegedly a little bit of domestic violence going on there in the house. So, yeah. Um, see, again, he's trying to... Um, yeah. Yeah, no, them boys don't want to go back there because it's got memories of you and probably how y'all treated them that's my opinion we would like to buy another house here in arkansas the house he's referring to on ben hill road see they want to buy another house in arkansas see remember remember uh guys when i was telling you that um they want to fix a house up to get the boys back yeah, that's just a big scam in my opinion. They just wanted a bunch of people to fix that house up for free so they could flip it later down the road, sell it, and get the hell out of Dodge. That's my opinion. That's what I think. And now, yeah, yeah, I, th I think I think he just confirmed my theory. Is where his daughter went missing from. We couldn't understand what happened to Summer. The police couldn't understand. And they were questioning us. They were, at times, they were hard on us, and other times they weren't. Uh, just depend. Yeah, I'd say the uh, the the times that they weren't probably were just times that they couldn't even get a hold of you, which is brings me to another point. Um, you know, he's saying he's going out to Arkansas to work and and, and do this and that. Um, in my opinion. And we'll see how close I am to this. I believe that, not, not that they're running, okay? There's a difference between running and avoiding. But in my opinion, they're avoiding Tennessee CPS and they're avoiding uh, Hawkins County detectives and they're avoiding Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. But uh, there's one thing they can't avoid. That's the FBI. You know, uh, no matter where Don and Candace end up, they can end up in uh, Rancho Cucamonga. But you still going to have TBI, Hawkins County, and the FBI breathing down your neck. Yeah. Depending on, you know, what police agency was there at the time. Two years later, he and Candace have no clues as to where Summer is. So we try to bounce things off of each other all the time. We might have talks about, you know, some of the drug activity that was going on at the time. And what's going Boy, y'all would know about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> With Jody Sue saying that uh, allegedly Andy was taking drugs over there, not just for you guys, but for children too. Speaking of that, uh, I bet the news never heard that one. You don't, uh, you don't hear the news uh, talking about everything that us YouTubers have gotten exposed to, do you? And uh, you know the the news and the police are saying, well, YouTubers like to speculate. Well. Is it speculation when the neighbor 
and possible witness of these drugs going over to Don and Candace's, not only for them, but for children? Is that speculation? Because that statement came from a neighbor and a possible witness, and her name is Jody Sue Brown, the neighbor or ex-neighbor of Don and Candace Wells. And to make accusations of um, her old man taking drugs over there for kids to possibly so those kids could be touched, there were some serious uh, statements there, Jody Sue. Uh, those are some serious statements, Don Wells and Candace Bly. Are, uh, are y'all trying to avoid those questions? Is that what you're trying to do? And 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 the reason, guys, I'm saying they're in Arkansas. I'm not saying that they're running. People can people like well, they're not running. They're not running. Well, there's a different. Yeah, there is a difference between running and avoiding. And we all know from other people that they have a history of avoiding. Um, like Dudley said, Don would spend you know nights at work to avoid CPS. You know. Hmm. On right after her disappearance for quite a while, um, but yeah, there's nothing new. Don says the family stays in touch with law enforcement through their private <laughs> investigators. About two months ago, they talked to our private investigators. Oh, speaking of their private investigators, guys, um, bet you all didn't know this. Some of you may know, some of you may not, but old Don B's gonna tell you here. Uh, remember back when Candace was having heart you know, heart issues? She seems to be doing fine now, doesn't she? Um, she's not like going to the hospital every other night, is she? Well, supposedly, uh, Chris and Trudy, their private investigators, uh, allegedly took Candace to Johnson City Medical Center. Yeah. So when does being a private, a professional private investigator, uh, bleed into being a personal assistant? Right. I, I, I you know. Um, You know, if I, if I was a private investigator for Don and Candace and Candace called me one night saying, hey, can you take me to the to the hospital? I think I'm having heart issues. I'm going to be like, well, first of all, I'm your private investigator. I'm not your ambulance. Um, you, you need to call, you know, if, you, if, you, if you've got phone service and you can call me and you think you're having heart, you need to call 911. Call yourself an ambulance. There's something sketchy about that, guys, in my opinion. Um, you know, and the FBI did, and they shared what they could with us, I mean, but they were just trying to come up with any new information or leads that they possibly could, and so far we just haven't been able to come up with anything. As two years pass with no new information publicly released, Dawn says the emotional toll is weighing on the family, especially yeah. Candace. She's been burnt by so many people that want to, you know, supposedly, you know, interview her or help and stuff, and then basically turn on her in every imaginable way. No, what, what it is, Dawn, is, uh, in my opinion, uh, people want to know what happened to Summer and where she's at. And to be honest with you, uh, from a lot of comments that I get, everybody is uh, looking at you guys. And so if you guys are responsible for Summer's disappearance, guess what? Only you guys know what happened to her and only you guys know where she's at. And that leads me to saying that unless you guys, Don and Candace, 
uh, go ahead and confess and tell where Summer's at, what happened. We're never gonna, we're never gonna know. And that's just my opinion, you know, because everybody is, and it does. I mean, they, they look suspicious as hell. Don and Candace, you, you, during this whole investigation, they've looked suspicious as hell. And then you have Ronnie Lawson, the sheriff, saying that they, they weren't cooperating. You had Jody Sue Brown, their neighbor, saying that, you know, there were drugs being taken over there to uh, uh, to Don and Candace for, the, for kids. That, that's sick. That's very sick. Um... No wonder people are looking at you and wondering if you had something to do with your daughter's disappearance. And no wonder people are like, well, if Don and Candace are responsible for Summer's disappearance, then we ain't going to get no answers unless they tell somebody. Makes sense to me. And, and here's if they never if they are responsible for Summer's disappearance and they never say anything from here on out, there is a good chance we'll never find Summer. Whoever done something with Summer, whoever it was, there wasn't very many people or somebody would have already, you know, spoke up or said something, in my opinion. So as long as that person or persons keep it to themselves, we may never find out where Summer's at or what happened to her, especially since uh, here it is two years later and police don't have enough evidence to arrest anybody. It's not looking good, guys. Just a reality check. You know, she's she's been hurt deeply by these kind of things, you know, plus the thought of, you know, we lost our daughter and you know our boys are in custody also with the cps he says they haven't been able to talk to their sons well at first we were allowed to talk to them and everything and then but what well, we haven't been able to talk to them for about six months no contact or anything like that and that's that's all we want to do is be able to there's a reason cps and I emphasize again, Child Protection Services will not let you people talk to your boys. There is a reason. They just don't let parents talk to their kids for shits and giggles. There's a reason, Don and Candace, why CPS ain't letting y'all talk to your kids. Don't act stupid. Them, that we love them and we're rooting for them and we're working on you know if you loved them you had two years to do what was uh, required by CPS to get them back if you want them back you had two years to do it I, I wonder guys see that say he's so full of shit this guy is so full of shit I'm sorry to cuss, guys, but I mean, when you, when you watch when you watch Don B, you're watching Don B raw and unedited, and, and and I call it like it is. I don't sugarcoat nothing, but this guy's full of crap, and with his religious twist on everything, uh, it's this close to being a Lori Vallow freakish freakish. Uh, Comparison, in my opinion. Dude, y'all had two years to get sober, to get off the drugs, to act like normal parents, or as close to normal parents as you can get. Nobody's perfect, you know. Um, and you could have done it. You could have done it. Look where you're at now. Yeah. You're living out of a roach motel. I doubt, I doubt CPS, I doubt, I just don't think, I just think 
the guy's full of shit. I don't think they're going to get the kids back. They've probably already been taken. They've probably already lost their parental rights. Um, he's just making himself look good for the cameras and for the public. That's what. That's my opinion. That's my honest opinion. And if anybody out there don't like it, suck it. Things to get them back. Hope is hard to hold on to after all this time, but Don says he's clinging to faith. Whatever the outcome is. Here we go again. I have hope in God and one day, either sooner or later, I will be with my daughter again. Yeah, right. Anyway, guys, um, that, that's my reaction video on the WJ jail interview they done with Don. Um, so, let me know what you think. Go ahead and leave your comments below. Uh, do you think I'm right? Um, I think it's just been, for Don and Candace, in my opinion, two years of... Um, games and, and BS. I ain't got no interest in them kids. Not, none at all. None at all. Uh, actions speak louder than words and I ain't seen no actions from there. CPS ain't seen no actions from them. Um, you know, so, so guys just drop your comments below. Uh, I'm getting to the point now where I'm just speechless. So, and it, 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 it's getting harder and harder to listen to this man just mouth off a bunch of crap. You know what I mean? Useless crap to make himself look good. You know, after that interview, he probably, um, there's no telling why he went back to the hotel and done. You know what I mean? We love our kids. Boy, you sure, boy, you, you've sure proved it over the last two years, huh? Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging with me. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, again, drop some comments, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.